Hello, lovely folks of the internet. Let's get into another episode. This guy just flashed us high beams, which means he's giving me the right of way essentially. So this is how you navigate through an alley. Now this one's got a little bit of a side street, so it's a little bit wider there, but now you see there's another vehicle approaching and there's definitely enough room in here for two cars. So you just gotta scooch over a little bit, but it's doable. So there you go. Now fast forward a little bit forward. Turning right. No signal, so get your fluids checked. Here's a normal situation. Now, just because this car is turning right doesn't mean what's going on behind them is going to yield to you. Which, that car there has a stop sign. You should be yielding to me. It's not really working out that way, is it? Right turn from the center lane. Okie dokie. U-turn. Another one. Classic in this intersection. Happens all the time. And one more. This is a boss move right here. If you're going through these two ways, especially through the boulevard, be careful. Make sure that you read the intersections a lot better. That could have been could have been bad. Look at that. Just going into that left turning lane. Why are we passing on the right hand side? And there were cars behind me, so it's not like, I mean, you can't, no one can turn left there. I mean, I was confused. That is a red light. Okay, you should have stopped there. Okay, so again, read these intersections and traffic lights accordingly. A little bit of four-way shit show. A bunch of rolling stops. Don't drive like that on your road test. What's going on here? Uh, you know, Alberta's backing up into the intersection. As you do. I mean, why are we stopping in the middle of the road, in the middle of the intersection? Uber, Lyft, the worst. That's why I don't take them. Don't wanna die. Just be a little bit more responsible, folks. Don't just go around cars willy-nilly. Bad things can happen. This is going to be a close call coming up here. Now, in this case, I'm still going to wait. So, just chilling. I'm not gonna put myself at risk, so if you find yourself in this situation, if you don't wanna go around, just wait. There's nothing wrong with that. If you find yourself in this situation, you can also just wait, stay behind the cyclist, you can make a lane change, you can go around them while making the lane change, as long as it's clear and safe and you do it properly and accordingly. But if you don't want to, if you don't know what to do in this situation on your test, then just wait behind the cyclist. And that's fine. You should know what to do, but if you want to wait, wait. This is not how you do three-way stop intersections. I mean, that was just dumb. Same thing here. This is why you always scan intersections because people drive like that. Irresponsible. I mean, come on, folks. There are stop signs for reasons. Don't turn like that. Dick moves. If it's late at night, if there are no cars on the road, sure. If you're this far into the intersection, you must exit, okay? So going back should really not be an option unless 
it's dangerous or something, but that car should have exited, right? So now he ended up going back, reverse into his original position. Luckily, there was no one behind him, but not a good move. Tesla drivers. Why are you in my lane, dude? On his phone. Be a little bit better. Now, if you're turning left, never trust the signal. Look what's about to happen here. Luckily, I stepped on the brake. That could have been a close call. Okay. The guy should have made a better choice, clearly, but that's why you always wait until the car stop in the intersection. That's a better choice to make. Sort of a similar situation. This is going to be more of a yellow light. So now if that truck doesn't stop, I wait and I'm going to exit on the red. That's fine. Now you want to exit quicker than usual, but that's still totally okay. Okay, you have to exit from the intersection if you're already in it, or at least you try as much as possible. Here I'm making the left turn. This lady stops for whatever reason and yields to me, she waved me through, so I'm going to oblige and proceed. Look what's going down here. Okay, first of all, cars are going too far forward on the red light, and then this guy was about to turn left, this guy was going straight, he's too far into the intersection, gonna have to back up. So maybe in this case you can reverse, I mean, he should have just not been running red lights to begin with and paying attention, but this is maybe a better example where reversing would be applicable. Okay, sure. Still illegal, but don't do it. That is a yield sign. That vehicle should have been yielding to me. Clearly, they are not. For whatever reasons, unknown to me. And then they're going to take a right turn right in front of me like that. Rude. But... Again, four-way stop, it's definitely my turn to go. This person does not feel so, and they cut me off. Rearranging the rules a little bit. A super duper late turn. I have the green arrow again. I'm not going to proceed through the intersection until it's completely clear. We're good to go little crash. These do happen in these neutral zones quite, quite often, so be careful when you're going through them. There are two vehicles there, both with hoods up. God knows what happens, but assuming looks like somebody was going straight up the hill and then the other person was either going through the boulevard or making a, uh, would be a left turn into up, also uphill, so That's not where you turn left from. From the center lane, again, from the wrong lane. Just like in the video earlier before, I mean, come on. And last but not least, if you're on the road, always look out for the wildlife. You know what I mean? Because those road violators, they are everywhere. And sometimes they have wings and they don't like to use them, like these dinosaurs here. This lovely elderly couple just strolling along. So we'll yield once they pass safely. We're going to proceed. That's it. That's all. See you on the next one.